What is up, fam? So we are actually about to pull up to Devin Fry's place. Uh, he's the guy that's been helping us on the Duramax, the first gen. Um, I've already mentioned a lot of times about how he helped work on Nasty Red, the King Ranch, and a lot of other stuff for us. So uh, we're actually pulling up to a shop right now. But don't forget, six days left to enter to win this 2008 LMM Duramax diesel. Maybe five days left, I can't remember. Five or six days left, and then the giveaway's over. You can spend as little as $15 on the website, team-lmp.myshopify.com, and every $15 more you spend gets you another automatic entry to win this truck, and time is ticking, time is running out. But let's get into the shop here, and let's get to working away on these trucks. Keep in mind, she could be yours. For everybody that doesn't know, this is the Million Mile First Gen project. Estimated 930 some thousand miles on it. Ton of blow by apparently. I mean, as you can imagine, but we're gonna start it up. And for everybody wondering, project play truck making parts that aren't supposed to be in this truck work in this truck so everything goes Of course, you guys know it's got a rear main oil leak. But otherwise, I mean, for what I told him to do it, he put it together for me. So we might actually even get the new wheels and tires, not new, but the original wheels and tires that I had on this before back on the truck. And then uh, get that put back on and then start to work under the hood of this thing a little bit. And then we've also got some stuff to do on the Burmax. And I'm gonna try to get a much of stuff done but we're just going to piece stuff together about a roughly a 15 minute video at a time and get it all now down. custom fab stuff here all laid out as always links in the description below to check out products that we've used on the vehicles so uh what are we doing here I don't know anything about these Duramax trucks I don't know basically this is an intake kit really and um, replacing the coolant tank be pretty easy yeah for Ricky <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it done. I don't know how much we're going to be able to get done today because we might have to pick up a couple other small things to actually finish it. A good amount of this done today that we're also going to be uh, getting some wheels and tires put back on the first gen. <laughs> I just 
We got the wheels and tires on the first gen. And I forgot the caps in the house, but we don't need them to drive it. But back to the look that I liked with this truck. I didn't like the tall, super skinny tires. I know why they did that back at the time, but I just love the stance that look on this thing. And for people wondering how these fit on this truck, because I used to get a ton of questions about it, I kicked the fenders. <laughs> That's how that worked, because I just sat on the ground and I took my boot to the fenders and, and then it cleared them. Does it work? Yeah, if it fits, it ships. <laughs> it fits, it ships. It fits. It's good. Should we put the hood on or should yeah. you not for what you got to do still? No, we can still put the hood on. Because doing head studs and power springs, it might be in the way. When no. the hood's like right here. I mean, you'll be able to reach Wait. it, but it'll be annoying. We should be able to clear it, don't you think? I mean, I've done it with all the hoods on before, but. Yeah, see, yeah. Let's do it. Let's put the hood on. Okay. You guys want to see a burnout? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It actually probably wouldn't t probably take too much to get the tires going. It doesn't at all. It did it before with 150 horse. It it's, it's just a light truck, especially if you're in on this. Well, now, like, it pulls up really fast, so you have no problem breaking the tires loose. <laughs> I mean, I think there's a mark on the ground around here. Yeah. It's underneath the truck. But yeah, so let's get back together. I broke that light off on. Right when he was coming to get it, I was over here dorking around the truck, changing out the wheels and tires, and I kicked that light off the truck. But I had a guy make a comment about the intake, and he said that the intake is not in a good spot because it's going to pull in warm air. If the intake was here or here, it wouldn't make a difference. But the reason I'd argue that it wouldn't um, get good air is because with the grill, with the bumper being off this truck now anyways, there's all kinds of airflow that goes in here, here, I mean, just all through here, and it sends the air straight into the engine bay right here. See what I'm saying? I think it looks good. I mean, air will flow in through here and through there. We got plenty of airflow. Plenty of airflow. I mean, what do you want me to take the intake and put it out the hood? Like, yeah, you know what? With the scoop? Listen, I don't know why people put intakes under the hood anyway. Hey, man. Race car stuff, I guess. Stuff we don't get. Yeah. So anyways, we are going to, what are we doing? What are we doing on the Duramax? What did you oh. guys just get done? Uh, coolant tank? So yeah, we got the coolant tank done. Okay, And then okay. he's getting ready to put on the uh, other coolant side of the hose. Got it. So notice I have my little midget doing it. <laughs> Very big midget, more like it. Yeah, what do you think about how the truck's turning out? Since when did, when you saw it last, what was done? What was, What's different oh, about dude. it? Just it's, the mirrors? Was the mirrors the only thing that changed since you seen yeah, it? Yeah, since I saw it. Because I saw the tail lights, I saw the headlights. You saw the wheels and tires. Yep, saw the wheels and tires right the day you put them on. Yeah. They came over. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Looks good. Ready? Oh no! Lights down! <laughs> We just went for a drive in this truck, Reagan and I, and uh, it's it's pretty freaking fun. Now the only thing that I was nervous about is I just took this off insurance and the headlight is out. And I'm like, what are the odds I'm gonna get pulled over? And I was on my phone, I'm like, I don't have service, I can't add it to the insurance real quick. And uh, on our way back, we're like, I don't know, a mile from his house, and a freaking, Police officer pulls around the corner. Luckily, he didn't he didn't do anything. But I was like, uh, you know, the headlight might get me. You know, not having a hood and stuff. But we're all good. But the truck runs good. The only thing is, obviously, it, it likes a lot of oil. But I knew that the since exhaust. the day I bought it. Oh yeah, and the exhaust isn't fully put together yet. It's still in the still in the works. We gotta get some parts. Yeah, you can take your. Take your ratchet strap off there? Thank you, that's just our test driver. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, so it drives good. The only thing is you can definitely tell that the truck can't fully use the power that it's been given just because of the transmission holding it back. Um, but for the most part, I mean, from a stop, when you punch it, it freaking, uh, it, it wants to throw you pretty good there after it spools the turbos up and dumps a bunch of black smoke and then it, it'll push you pretty good. Pretty smoky, Devin? Oh, yeah. 
She always smokes when she drinks. Yeah, you need to smoke it for sure. And then over here under the hood of the Duramax, I actually haven't even seen this yet. Well, that looks good. So there's that Worley Custom Fab um, upper coolant pipe right there. Again, links in the description to the website. If you come over here, got the coolant tank, which I just showed you a little bit ago. And then we are going to be putting in the other parts, but just not tonight. We're waiting on a couple more things that we got to get to actually finish that. But um, overall, good progress. Things are moving along. Hopefully you guys are excited. Hopefully next time we come up here, Devin starts doing YouTube, right? <laughs> I just been so busy. I have done this, these trucks, and a whole bunch of other trucks, and it's crazy. Yep. I stay busy. I'm a busy man. Yeah. With a lot of kids and a lot of puppies. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So we're gonna wrap up the video here on what we did on the Duramax today. Again, links are always in the description below for the parts we use. But yeah, trucks coming together. It's gonna look really good, and I uh, just cannot wait to see the end result. Hopefully, we get the traction bars in here pretty quick. Get the part that we need to wrap up everything under the hood to get the intake all mounted up and everything. And uh, yeah, any last words from you? My YouTube channel, we need to make a name. Yes, a name. Yeah, we should ask them. Yeah, what should he make his YouTube channel yeah, name? Exactly. And how many of you, comment below, how many of you guys would watch his YouTube channel? Right, everyone would be like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised, dude. People, people love content and you'd have a lot of stuff to make content on. This dude works on trucks all the time. You built, and I work on more than trucks. You yeah. worked on a couple of trucks since I was here last. Yep. Um. I've, yeah, I've done three other trucks since. Well, since you went on vacation, so <laughs> yeah, that was only a week. And then I have this stuff, your guys' stuff. I have a semi to do Saturday, and then um, I have another one of your followers. Um, I'm doing one of his trucks, hopefully. So we You can have everybody like blitz my truck, yeah. put my wheels on. Yeah, I mean, hey, <laughs> it's not it's not free, but you know. Yeah, I yeah, that's that. that's another thing, guys. Gotta keep in mind, like, it ain't free. You know, some people invest and be like, dude, like, I can't believe you have them working on your trucks. So I'm like, um, I, I pay him too, <laughs> right. yeah. and it's more fun than doing it, taking it to a shop and never seeing it. So. Oh yeah, Heck yeah, it's a lot, lot more fun, you know, because you guys can come here, hang out, oh, yeah. you know, and then like if you want to learn something i'm always down to teach i mean i'm not the smartest like person but i've done you've done a lot of trial and error though with a freaking ton of trucks oh yeah so like i got stupid stuff to work on like i have this tractor that i have to work on but this is just this is my hobby from after work i work a 40-hour job and then do this stuff i love it so mm -hmm. i love spending time with my family but <laughs> <laughs> this stuff's fun too guys that is going to put a wrap on the video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to enter the giveaway to win this truck it ends in i think five or six days by the time you see this video so information in the description below every 15 dollars you spend gets you another entry to win thank you guys so much leave a like comment down below subscribe if you're new join the team join the family and i'll catch you in the next video peace